Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, I'm five wins from Mythic, finally got a good streak going, I'm nine and one with this list. Um, this is an update to last season's deck that I played in the MIQ, the Mythic uh, Invitational Qualifier. This is Mono Green Stompy Company in Historic. Uh, Stompy being big fat creatures, company referring to collected company. Uh, kind of the engine behind the deck. For four mana, you get to look at the top six cards, put uh, any two of them with uh, three CMC or less. Um, the notable updates from Zendikar that we got into the deck are um, the fact that we get to play less lands. Um, with Kazandu Mammoth, it is a hit off the Collected Company, which is nice, um, but also aligned early. And then we get to play four uh, Symbiosis, where late game we can cast it for six mana. Um, the rest of the deck pretty similar to what we had before uh, and the one drops like games where you can have land war elf on one are just like the best draws you can have uh pelt collector gets bigger over time um scavenging is two in the main and then additional on the side uh there's a lot of graveyard decks and synergies so it's a good to have it main barkai troll is a good beater uh the two ronas mainly to give a uh, trample with the deck but it can also just be a good target to um like fight with uh, with some of the fight spells. It does have death touch as well. The Kazanu Mammoths uh, gets bigger, also has a land, Steel Leaf Champion. The ideal like line is you go turn one Line War Elf, turn two Steel Leaf, and then you have a 5 4 on turn two. Uh, Yorvo, a couple copies, gets bigger over time. The way we give it trample is through Vivian. Uh, it's also another fight effect uh, through the damage. This can also be redirected to Planeswalkers, and then some Questing Beasts on the top end. Uh, Questing Beast you can't hit with Collected Company, but it's a good enough card that we want some copies of it. We're also playing one Vivian uh, as a card engine. So really now we can only we only have to play 15 lands uh, because you have, in total, we're still playing 23, which we were before, but now I have the flexibility of spell lands as well. Uh, the sideboard-wise, I'm still refining a couple things based on what we're seeing. There have been the prevalence of rogues in Historic. I've run into that matchup twice already. Um, the one card that I would say if you don't have it right now, I wouldn't craft it. I'm still testing this. Uh, it's Allosaurus Shepherd. Um, this one would come in into your like counter spell matchups. It prevents all our green spells from being countered. And then it does have the added ability of being an anthem for your elves. Uh, we do have a number of elves, incidentally, in the deck. Uh, Pelt Collector, Line of War Elf, um, the Steel Leaf Champion as well are all elves. So there is a kind of notable synergy there. Chainwet Arachnid, uh, again for the Rogues matchup. I'm also thinking like versus Mono Blue, they tend to have a lot of small flyers. Uh, so it's something that we can play in that matchup. Uh, for my fight spells, I've actually been trying out Inscription of Abundance, and I may go to a second copy over the Primal Knight. Um, so we're playing one Inscription, uh, two Primal Knights. This has the flexibility of just pumping when we don't need the fight, uh, as well as for five mana, we can do all three abilities. The thing with Primal Might, although it's a bigger explosion, it's at sorcery speed, so it does allow your opponent to interact if they have instant speed removal to get rid of your target. Uh, this has come up a couple games. Also, just the instant speed has been relevant against stuff like them dropping a rankle with haste or stuff like that. Um, another scavenger news, as I mentioned, two Garrick's Harbinger versus like the Saltai black-based removal uh, versions of decks. One Garrick's Uprising and a Great Henge both come in as card advantage. Uh, the Uprising also comes in against the Sack matchup because it gives you stu your stuff Trample, um, as well as give you card draw in those grindier types of matchups. Two Reclamation Sages when we need Artifact or Enchantment Destruction, and then three Shifting Ceratops for the Counterspell matchups. So we are at Diamond Tier 2. 9-1 uh, and one with this list going into it. I uh, lost a close one to uh, Junsack. Uh, they kind of got the nuts off two collected companies, and then game two, I mulliganed to five, and they thought seized my land. <laughs> so the one thing about playing Symbiosis, and if you are playing it against Thoughtseize decks, prioritize playing your Symbiosis, because they can be hit with Thoughtseize. Hey, Quantum, going well? How about you? Why is Twitch chat showing twice again? Okay. Play first, Luris. So this hand we go 
So this is actually interesting how we want to play it out. I can go Elf into Pelt Collector Ooze, or I can go, let's see what they do. If they go like turn one Stitcher Supplier, I might want to eat at their graveyard. We got some lines with this, this hand. opponent get timed out they're either in the tank or they got timed out so as we wait for the opponent as always you can catch all my content on my youtube channel everything we play is archived there i am in the works of doing a write-up for this deck really enjoy it uh, i've played it quite a bit now um so we'll have that up on aether hub once it's done ideally once i hit mythic with it uh, and if you do enjoy the content and you want to continue the conversation, have set up a Discord channel, which I will link in the YouTube video as well. Okay, so they go Knight here. Um, this might be a different deck. I think we just go Yorvo here. Yeah. Um, let's see if it works here in chat. There we go. Getting it set up, so it's a small community right now, but we're getting it going. I'll be posting like deck lists and stuff on there. So generally you don't see the Knight of Eben Legion and the Rakdos lists like the Pyromancer. Opponent is really in the tank on these decisions. Okay, Young Peasy. Hmm. So this is an interesting line. I can fight one of them My heart beats in unison with the wild. so I think we fight this you took the wrong fight. I don't think we attack Because I want to keep the Vivian alive. Okay, claim. So that was like worst case now. Pop this up. Get out of the way if I were you. See how they block here. They could have Bedevil, which would be like the worst, because they could, with Claim, then... Uh, well, they can't cast Bedevil and Claim in the same turn. This can get Death Touch, which is a little annoying. So maybe it was made sense last turn to just start pumping this. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done this pre-combat. We missed two points of damage. So I'll probably throw the Pelt Collector in front of the Knight of Eben Legion. They shock in there. Operation Remy, thanks for the follow.
So this forces them to spend the mana. And then I can eat uh, this one is in the graveyard, make this bigger. We'll also uh, eat the, the flame here. So, if I put counters on both of these, uh, that's 9, 14. They need to block with their board. Hopefully we didn't lose our time out. Okay, so they conceded. We ended up winning that one. Um, so this is probably Garrick's Uprising, Inscription, and Henge. So apologies for that. Arena crashed and our opponent ended up conceding. So usually cut some of the bigger stuff. Questing Beast is decent in this matchup. Probably trim this. Probably trim the Ronus. Trim two Pelt Collectors on the play. Actually, let's keep Ronus, trim a Yorva. Run it like that. Apologies, I think Javashi was mentioning chat. Rena's been a little uh, particular today. Sounds good. Double ooze into Collected Company will be nice. Let's see what they do here. Scourge. Okay, so this is more like a Rakdos beatdown style. They didn't see the company from us last game, so it's something we can play around. They probably have more direct removal for us this game. Slower start without the elf this time. Us drawing nothing but pain lands has been quite annoying. Live by the Coco, die by the Coco. Problem is, we're not really getting ahead at this point. We've taken too much damage. Like, they pump here, but I'm not going to get this henge down. Okay, if they have Scourge, then I'm going to want more removal. That's interesting. Okay, so they can take my henge. We draw a land, then it's pretty good. 
Oh, they just get it back. Okay, so we have Ram through and the Ooze. So let's do this. It's a bit iffy to attack in, so I think we just do this. They can get Luris back. They can also claim that. Yeah, we're dead here. I'm just not gonna get enough. Because this is powerful enough. Guess if we draw a fight spell. I don't really have anything at this point. Now oh, we're dead here. We're just kind of going through the motions at this point. I'm not going to get out from under that. Um, so Primal Might. I think the five fight spells is enough. What I probably want is to trim down. Probably a Vivian. And play. Probably another Yorvo. Just do that. If we can get the henge down, it's good, but like we are never going to get to a point where... Okay, keep this. Ideally, I would prefer to do the ooze when we have mana up, but it's a little hard to do that with how this hand's shaping up. Probably could have cut this uprising. It looks like they shifted how their build is with the Scourges post board. Okay, that's actually good. I want to sandbag this ooze. Ideally, we draw an untapped land so I can go ooze and eat something in their graveyard or even play Ronas. Okay, so that bodes pretty well. Probably means that they're missing lands. Untapped land. Sick. Um, interesting line here is do I start eating their graveyard? Or prioritize this can't attack anyways they have heartless act okay we saw heartless act so let's eat something now probably the dreadhorde arcanist is the worst I'm doing this so it can't be hit with Heartless Act. Probably play this tapped next turn. Okay, they just go grasp. Okay, that's actually pretty solid. Because this lets me do this. Get the extra point of damage in now. 
And then I can just Garrick's Uprising next turn. I get to draw a card and then have my team have Trample. Opponent stumbled on mana this game, but that's what our deck's really good at. If they stumble at all, we just Trample over them. Duns. Duns, Duns, Duns. Come on, server. Alrighty, so we that takes us to diamond tier, almost diamond tier one. I'm thinking increasingly we might want a fourth ooze. Like the matchups we have it are so good. The primal might's always a little so like. Primal Might in that matchup, for example. With us having instant speed with the inscriptions, um, we're able to play around their removal spells to use it as fight. Where if we had Primal Might and they have something like Heartless act up, they're able to hit us through that attack. It is nice seeing Scourge out of that. I tried that version with Scourge. I really like that card. See if our opponents on a burn plan. Simic, you say. This might be one of the Omnath decks. Yep. As always, kill the Cobra. I really need a land here. Land one time. Land one time. Not only does Cobra fix their mana, it accelerates them to potential turn four Omnath. Here they're a bit slower now. I guess not. Just all the land draw spells. We got a good pressure on them. They don't have a follow up, they're dead on board. All right, play some lines and die. So this is a Ceratops in matchup. Um, probably the ooze. The Vivian's interesting. We could probably cut this Vivian down. I don't know if we want Allosaurus Shepherd. Their ramp deck, I doubt. Like, they're probably playing Aether Gust over counters. We didn't see enough out of them. Um, Inscription, something interesting. They didn't see the Cocos, which was good. Um, probably just get rid of Ronas. Usually when they have more interaction, I want to get rid of those. And probably... I still want enough hits here. Okay, let's get rid of Vivian. Questing Beast. They're probably on Omnath, though. Let's do it like that. I like because Vivian could be removal. But also, if they are on a Nisa deck, I can use it to target Nisa, where Questing Beast has a hard time attacking through Nisa's animated lands. No lander or three lander. I'm in Dekio. Thanks for the follow. They go explore here. Okay, that 
that's nice. Hmm. I think I want to like just splatter my hand. I feel really bad with this line if they have Clarion, but if we can dodge Clarion for a turn, then I'm happy. But our hand's not really equipped to beat Clarion. This is turn three, eight, 11, 12, 13 power on board. Yeah, so we dodge the turn. I wanna be able to Coco next turn. Two cards in the yard. They can't Genesis Ultimatum this turn. Golos is kind of annoying. So they need to decide. They're not like the thing is they just block this anyways. It's a free block, so we just have to hope that they fizzle with this. Nothing good, nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. Lots of mana. They can activate Golos again. It was kind of shitty. If it was any other land, it would have been fine. But with the fabled, ah, they can clarion on here. See what they decide to do. Kind of surprised they went Escape of the Wilds over Golos activation. You get to cast the stuff for free. Blockers here. No Omnath is good at least, but oh, can they escape Burrow? They can escape Burrow. So I need the Vivian, but even then it's kind of shitty. Oh, they. So we had him dead on board into that. I don't think we got much at this point. They just went up to nine. Vivian can make this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. They've re like buffed up their team too much. Literally, if they hit anything else other than the Fabled Passage off that Cobra, they wouldn't have had enough mana. OK, 
Okay, so if they have the Clarions, we want to be mindful and play around it. Is it probably just Clarion? Come on, just show me the Clarion. We had a good start, but that early Clarion hurt us. Let's just see what we draw. This again, six year. Yeah, they went from three life to 15. Not good enough. Okay, so if they're on the Clarion plane, probably want these. Trim an ooze. Trim a pelt collector. Trim Vivian. Play Questing Beast. Okay, let's try that again. So close there. Sounds a bit slow. We need a third land. If we can hit the third land, then we're in a good spot. Two turns to draw a third land. Perfect. So we go Yorvo into Steel Leaf. into ideally double ceratops. I got the on math. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. So I think we do this this turn. Hope they don't have the fabled passage. Because I can eat an arrow. Because if I draw a land, I can do this untapped. Attack for 15 next turn. 16, 17. Okay, tap line bodes well. Or one short. So even if they wipe the board, I got shifting ceratops. Okay, what do you got? What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Six mana. Not enough. Clarion can't deal with the fatties. Diamond one. Three more wins. What are we at with this deck? So for those stopping by, playing some mono green stompy company um stompy being big creatures company being collected company i am 
10 and 3 with this list, but two losses came before I made the revisions for Zendikar. I forgot to update it. So I am 10 and 1 with this current iteration. Three wins for Mythic. Let's see if we can get there. Probably play one more with this. And then come back a little later to finish it up. The fact against Omnath we can go really quick is really helpful. And we keep winning the die roll. Um, it's probably okay. Probably go tap line here, play out the other pelt collector. Um, I think we just get aggressive. Mono red, goblins. So again, very good idea to go quick. Um, I think we want to set up company for the following turn. We could have played out the 3-3, three, three, but then we're not guaranteed the land drop. I think this is the first time I've played Goblins. Might be inclined to kill this. I think it's right to kill this because they can mux us next turn. I can company and then go from there. Might have been wrong, might have been too conservative. Questing Beast. So this is actually the safest line against Muxus because it lets me attack in, but also have something back. Okay, so flop on Muxus and then I can Coco. Okay, just Chieftain. Chieftain and Krenko. Done. All right. So this matchup. How do we fight this matchup? Trample we probably want. I think we get rid of the Ronas. We play the Inscription. I don't think we have time for that. I probably want the Primal Knights. Scoos can probably come out. Run it like this. Do I want a Henge? Henge is interesting. It insulates our life total a bit, but I don't think we're going to be going long. And if they beat us, they're going to beat us by miles, not inches. In the end, that was probably the right play because they would have been able to play out a bunch more stuff cheaply.
Lana were all fun one. Okay. Lion was the next best draw. Tutor up here. This can get through blockers where the other one will get chump blocked. Okay, this is going to be a fight turn. So target creature fights. This can't be blocked by matron. Next turn I collect a company. And then I could follow it up with Vivian for trample. Because uh, I can mux this next turn. I think we have to do that because this is scary with haste to then have Krenko. They whiff, and they're dead. So what we do here is if we put two points of trample, we put trample on both. This way they have to block with nearly everything. And pass the turn, Coco. Whiff, whiff. GG's. GG's. They diluted their deck too much. Got him. All right. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. Got to make some dinner. We are a couple games from Mythic. Um, probably run it back later tonight. We'll see. Um, but the deck is very good. Uh, 11 and 1 since making the changes. Just kind of punishes your opponent. You get to go really quick. Coco is very good at finding big threats. And you can kind of go from there. Um, let's see who's... Oops, sorry. Who's online will drop a raid. Uh, Danny's on. They were doing... Manderson, thanks for the follow. Appreciate the support. Danny and CBB, CGB were doing um, no ban list standard, which was actually pretty cool. I was uh, watching some of it earlier. Appreciate everyone stopping by. I'll have this up on YouTube shortly. Uh, appreciate the support as always, and have a great one.